Friendship, love, and loyalty. Three characteristics that every kid had to have when at Eldridge Park School. At least that's what they taught us in music class back in the day. Ed Reynolds embodied all three of those traits when at EPS. He was always the kid you wanted to have on your team. Not just because he was a great athlete, but he was an even better friend and showed respect to everybody around him. Now he's a rookie free safety with the Philadelphia Eagles, who came back to his old roots in New Jersey to teach how to be a kid of character. Students are anticipating one of the most exciting events of the school year, one that connects every child and teacher from now until June. Annually, we have a character kickoff for our school where we introduce a school theme for our students. The theme may be just a simple slogan to some, but throughout the year, it builds into an identity. This year, we decided to use Pass It On because we feel that our students are ready to be able to understand what character is and give it away, give their kindness away uh, to other people. What's more special about this year than any other is that there's a guest speaker for the kids. Ed Reynolds went to EPS almost 15 years ago and is now a rookie with the Philadelphia Eagles. Now 23, he's back to where it all started for him. We're sitting here in the library of Eldridge Park School where you went to second and third grade. What's the emotion like being back here and seeing some of your old teachers and seeing how much time has passed since you last were here? It's, it's kind of a surreal feeling. It's kind of like, you know, going back to like an old house that, that you lived in for a long time. You moved. Um, you know, a lot of the same people are here, and it's just great to, to come back after such a long time being away and, uh, you know, getting to see people, getting to see, you know, what they've been up to since I've, since, since I've been gone. I mean, a lot, a lot has gone on in my life since I've left. I'm sure the same thing's gone for them. So just to get an update on whatever, you know, whatever's been going on with them has been great. One teacher Reynolds reconnected with was his second grade teacher, Maria Irene. Irene felt he was the ideal person to speak to these kids because of the example he used to set when he was at EPS. Ed was so always so respectful and so polite, uh, such a hard worker in class. He was always such a good role model for the other kids in class. Reynolds stayed in Lawrenceville until going to high school in Virginia, going to Stanford for college football, and now in a cycle back to the area starting life as an Eagles football player. This is, as a teacher, like what you want to see. You know, not just the success of being in a prestigious university and making it to the Eagles, but still that same kid of character is still very humble and he's still such a sweet, sweet guy. As the special guest for Character Kickoff, he spoke in front of a few hundred kids about core values he learned when he was a kid at EPS. He interacted with them to see what they wanted to do with their lives while explaining the importance of good friends and family for support. Overall, Reynolds is blessed now to be a role model to be able to inspire these young kids. Like I was telling the kids out today, like third grade, I would, people would ask, like if teachers asked me, hey, what do you want to be when you grow up? I said professional football player, and I said it with gusto. <laughs> like it was, no one, no one was going to tell me differently. Um, and so to be able to get to the, this point now and, and, and really like living my dream is, is special. What message do you hope that you convey to these kids here today? That you know, anything is possible. Uh, you know, you can come from this school, you can come from this town and, and, and you know, do what you want to do. Like, like I said, I'm living my dream and not everyone dreams of being a, a professional football player. Some people want to, want to dream to be, like I asked the kid today, want to be a police officer. Mm -hmm. um, one girl didn't know what she wanted to do at all. Right. Um, and that's okay too. But I think when you can work towards just being happy, uh, with what you're doing. I think that's, that's what truly is like living the dream. It was no surprise when we all found out that Ed Reynolds got drafted into the NFL and started living out his own dream. Maybe the things he said over there to those kids can inspire them to live out their own dreams as well.